Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am hopping along with Altenu as they have their May stencil release and the stencils are so beautiful and we're gonna go through how to customize your embossing paste in just a bit. But first let me just show you some of the stencils. So this first one is the Broken Chevron Stencil, and I did a very dark background paired with a really bright, pretty flower from the Wallpaper Art set. The next stencil I'm showing is the Deco Wonder Stencil. I really love this design, and it's very Art Deco, so I decided to use the new Metallic Gold ink and just do some ink blending, and I think that it looks really wonderful. It's really simple, but I'm getting a lot of great Gatsby vibes from this, and I really love the way that it looks with this design. The next one we have is the Illusion Spiral Stencil. It reminded me a lot of a sun, and so I used some Nouveau Glimmer paste with it just to bring out some of the sparkle, and I offset it to the lower right-hand side just to look like it was sort of radiating out from the corner like a sun, and I added the sentiment in a circle in the very center. The next one we have is the Ombre Stripe Stencil, and I actually don't have a personal project with this, but you can see the uh, one that they have here on the back. And next we have the Heart Builder Stencil. This is a really cool stencil because you flip it over after you've done your ink blending. You flip it over and match it up and you get this really incredible three-dimensional image when you ink blend on the other side. So for today, I'm going to be using the Floral Garden Stencil. I really love the idea of this stencil. So one side is or are the leaves to the flowers and the other side is the actual flowers. There's actually a lot of detail in these flowers and the stamens that come out of the flowers and everything just seems like it would have been two separate stencils. So it's really cool that they can do it in one and you can just flip it over or turn it around and you get this very dimensional look. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my cardstock. This is an A2 size piece of cardstock, and I am adhering it with some low tack tape to the back side of the stencil, and that's so it doesn't move around. I'm then going to take some ink in frayed leaf, and I'm going to blend these leaves. Now again, this side is just the leaves, but in the upper left hand corner, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is a flower there. So I'm going to avoid doing that flower, and I'll have to come back in later with my embossing paste after I do the flowers themselves because I don't want any overlapping. To make sure that I don't have any tears when I take the tape off, I just pull it back onto itself and it comes off fairly easily. And then I'm going to flip it over and you'll be able to see the leaves and the stamens. So you can see that you, while you're blending the leaves, you also blend the stamens as, at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this stencil and I did clean it off, off camera, uh, but I didn't show it. And I want to match up the flowers with the leaves. It's very easy to do because once you rotate it, everything's in the right spot, but I just wanna make sure that it stays put. So what I'm gonna do is put a piece of low tack tape face up on my work surface and then stick the very top of the cardstock to it. I'm then going to put my stencil where it goes. I'm going to fit it in and make sure that it's in the right spot. And then I'll just press on that tape just to make sure everything's adhered. And now I can flip it over and put another piece of tape at the other end. And this just helps to make sure that I have everything where I need it. And again, that the cardstock doesn't move around. So I'm using Altenew's embossing paste. And if you've never used embossing paste, you might not realize that this is a much fluffier option than some of them that are out there. It's very light and almost reminds me of like a Cool Whip or something like that. Um, so it's, it's actually really beautiful. It's really nice to work with. So obviously the paste is a white color and I want to customize it a little bit and make it the color that I would like it to be. So I'm going to pick Coral Berry ink and then I'm just going to put some of that ink on the white part of my glass mat just to be sure that I can see it. I'm then going to put the embossing paste right over it and just mix it in almost like a food coloring with whipped cream or something like that and it will color it and you can do this with any color and it's totally customizable. You could also add glitter if you wanted to or even combine inks to make your own color. So to get the embossing paste into those stenciled pieces, you're just going to take a bit, start at one end of the cardstock, and then with a very light hand and on a flat side of your 
a palette knife, you're just going to run the embossing paste down. I don't want to leave a lot of excess on there and I don't want to bunch it up because I don't want it to take forever to dry or be too textured. Just a nice thin layer. So now I'm just removing the cardstock from the underside of the stencil and you can see that it's just absolutely gorgeous. Now again, that top left hand corner the flower I need to go back in and do that after this is dry but you can see how wonderful it comes out with all the texture and the color I just absolutely love it to create this card I used some nested circle dies and used one size for the actual uh, stenciled card front and then I used the size up for the vellum that you see right behind it and I colored that in on the back side of the vellum with an all new marker just to give it a little bit of color to finish it off, I used the fancy Hello Word die with some gold metallic cardstock and then a small sentiment that says thinking of you and I heat embossed that on black cardstock with white embossing powder. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and learned a little bit more about what you can do with your stencils and using embossing paste. All of the supplies used are linked in the description as well as the link to my blog where you can hop along with us and win lots of prizes. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.